Um, I'd like to share with you my method for getting accurately spaced uh, holes um, in a piece of work. Um, I made this bridge recently. This is a, a temporary bridge um, for my guitar. It's used for tuning. It's actually got magnets on the back uh, and it's going to be magneted onto the top as I'm carving the braces away, tuning the top of the guitar. It's there to add the appropriately positioned mass that will affect how the top is, is, is tuned. Um, these are not accurately spaced holes. I mused at the time in, in the last video that these holes were probably good enough, and they are, but they're not good enough for the uh, actual final bridge. So I've got to do something better than simply eyeing up where the drill was going and, and proceeding ahead and getting in accurately spaced holes. Um, accurately spaced holes are particularly important if you've got, for instance, a solid body guitar and you're using through body stringing and you've got ferrules on the back where the ball ends of the strings fit. Um, if those are not precisely placed, uh, it's, it's going to look wrong. Um, I've got a difference of uh, 0.3 of a millimetre between the spacing of these two holes here and these two hole here, holes here. I've measured these two and these seem to be accurate and this is what I'm going to base my little, my little jig on, um, these accurately spaced holes. Um, let, let's talk a little bit about what can cause inaccuracies in the first place. This is a cheap drill press. <laughs> um, I've got a lot of play in the chuck and I've also got a lot of play in the quill. So this limits how accurately you can lower the drill onto your work. Um, but it, that isn't the only issue. Um, you must have a good quality drill bit. This is a good quality drill bit. Um, this is made by Colt. And you can do a lot for yourself by making sure that the drill is mounted properly in the chuck to begin with. Um, I'll, as, as I'm tightening the chuck that way, <laughs> Um, as, as it starts to bite, I always make sure I just give the drill a bit of a twist to make sure it's evenly positioned between the little the prongs. And then when I tighten the drill in with the, with the chuck key, I make sure I tighten it in each of the three holes just to make sure that I'm not favouring one side over the other. Of course, on this particular drill press, um, <laughs> it, it may help, but it's not really the answer because of all the play I've got in, in the chuck and the quill. So the first step towards greater accuracy is a fence. Uh, this is a, a well-planed piece of mahogany and I've got an index mark on the fence. Um, and I've got my, my piece of work well marked out and I've got uh, um, marks for each hole and most importantly I've planed this edge to be exactly parallel with the row of holes that I want to cut. And in theory, I should be able to just line up against the mark at the back. Obviously, I've, I've put this mark on knowing that it's going to line up with the hole. It, it's, it's close. I, it, it's not quite there. Um, I took some minutes beforehand to try and get everything lined up. And in theory, we could just drill the first hole. Uh, we can then move it along to the second index mark. Hopefully get that all properly lined up and, and go along. And I hope you notice, by the way, that the tip of the drill is on the line for every one of those holes. Um, so we've got the accuracy in that direction. And hopefully, if we can line up visually with each hole properly, we can get the accuracy in, in that direction. But the problem is, and here's some footage of the drill in motion, uh, the problem is the tip moves around. So the danger is that even if you're perfectly accurately lined up, when the drill tip hits the work, it moves the work just a fraction, a fraction of a millimetre. But if this hole's moved a fraction of a millimetre that way, and this hole has moved a fraction of a millimetre that way, and this hole that way, it, it, it just all starts to add up. So what I want to come up with is a way of positioning the work relative to the drill bit, so that even if the drill bit moves a little bit, it takes the work with it. And that's what we're going to do.
So what I've got here with, with my original dummy bridge is effectively five attempts at getting a perfectly spaced pair of holes. And using a couple of twist drills um, I've and my digital calipers, I've determined that these are precisely 11 millimeters apart. So um, I'm going to use a sawn off piece of twist drill indexed into the hole I've just drilled and I'm going to use this drill to reproduce the spacing of those two holes to produce my little spacing jig. I would not recommend trying to get everything lined up with the drill moving but hopefully it will it will seat nicely into this hole. moved it. Now potentially the weakness of this method is any slight inaccuracy in the positioning of these holes multiplies up fivefold across all of these holes. So let's have a look at what we've got. I'm reading that as 55.23, my battery's going. Um, quarter of a millimeter out but actually when you look at the positioning of the holes um, according to my little paper template that they're spot on so uh, I'm happy with that if, if, if I am out at all it's it's only by the, the, the width of the printed line actually I'm not that that looks absolutely spot on of course I'm at the mercy of the accuracy of the first hole but uh, I'm more concerned about how the holes line up with each other. I think I'm well positioned there. I can see the drill bit wobbling already, but let's let's go for it. You can see that that's not absolutely precisely centred, um, but it's it's close, but it is a fraction of a millimetre off, and of course those errors compound all the way along. 
um, when you're trying to line them up by, by sight. So here are the results. Uh, unfortunately, these two aren't quite in line. Um, you, can, you can see this on, on the back perhaps a little more clearly. They're perfectly in line and then this one just dips off a little bit. And of course, it's all to do with this uh, top edge where I hadn't got the full length of wood. So that's, that's my fault really. I think the method's good, but unfortunately that's a little bit out. Um, ultimately, maybe it doesn't matter. It's sort of it's sort of in line with the bridge, um, the shape of the bridge. <laughs> oh dear! But um, but they are they are very evenly spaced, much better than my dummy bridge. So so I think I think I'm all right. The annoying thing about this is my test piece was perfect. It is absolutely spot on, and I've just fallen a little bit short. I got four good holes and two one and a half not really there um i'm yeah i'm gonna to have to make a decision on whether this is good enough uh let me know what you think in the comments i think the method's good um uh, but my execution on the day could have been better oh uh, well we'll leave it there um i'll uh, see you in the next video <laughs>